everybody, I'm back with another video. Um, I just got my mail. It's probably one of my favorite times of the day, aside from waking up in the morning and knowing that um, I didn't die in my sleep. Not that I do drugs or anything like that, just saying. Uh, the next day is not guaranteed. Uh, got you. Let's see what we got in here. I'm trying not to flip the box because my address is still on it. Alright. These auto parts people love their cellophane or their plastic wrap. Here, one second. Flip this up a little bit. It smells like pee. Like urine. It's comforting as I unwrap it with my bare hands. Str smell is getting stronger. It's really bad. It's like ammonia. Oof. Like I'm not even playing. It smells like I freshly pissed my pants. Ooh, oh my god, it's that, ooh, ooh, it's that plastic, god damn, ooh, god damn, ooh, why the smell of the second time, oh, ooh, forgive me, that, that was gross, um, there's something cool I got in as well, god, it still stinks over here, fuck me, um, This is a uh, heat resistant tape in different sizes or widths. Very handy shit. Make sure that you're not accidentally heating up extra devices on a board. Um, I also got this package. Not quite sure what. Oh. Okay. So, I had purchased um, this one right here, and it would not read right. It's a pogo reader, and I messaged them. They didn't even message me back. Um, and they sent me another one, and they checked it. Like I, I tried to to read several devices with it and uh, even a green wire came unsoldered and everything so uh, I kind of bitched and they, they never messaged me back but they sent me a, a replacement never said a word to me and then uh, I messaged them was like hey can you send me one that works uh, please I was kind of rude because this was 45 bucks and um, yeah no response so then I, I, I uh, started a return claim on Amazon and like there, there. This one is. They did. They didn't say a word to me. So I'm still gonna mail this back. I'm gonna test this one. It's a good, good tool if it works. I'm gonna show you guys. All right. Um, this doohickey. Uh, pick, 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 pick. Where'd you go? I hate these plastic tabs. They are the worst. Okay, we got one. Doing good. Whoops. There we go. I don't think I broke any.
the target device should be that right there hmm. I'm gonna go for it I'm gonna set up BVDI prog and we'll test the pogo adapter that I've just gotten in the mail right now. So, load up my laptop. Make sure you guys can't see the password. Tango is not currently hooked up, but it is loaded. So I'm gonna get out of it. All right, laptop. And load up Prog and take out this guy. It's still sealed. I really want it to work. I think it's um, a good concept. It's even packed differently this time. They packed it better than they did last time. Last time it was just uh, a piece of styrofoam affixed to the, uh, the pogo section. And uh, I was pretty pissed. I was like, man, what... What kind of shit is that? And I paid 40 bucks for this. So, um, and this time they didn't even send the, uh, the adapter. So I'll use the adapter off my old one. Uh, where'd I set it? Where did it go? Here it is. The adapter. Pin one on these are marked with a blue dot. Okay. Okay. So let me set it up. EEPROM. Gonna be an ST. Um, I, I I don't remember the device type. Let me look real quick. 24C16, and there's like no coding on it, or so it appears. Here we go, guys. Let's see if we can do this first try. Um, I'll take this off of the hot air station. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to hit read. It worked, I think. You see that, guys? I think it worked. We'll find the pin code if it worked just by uh, scrolling down a hair. There it is. There's the pin code. 3230. So I'm going to verify it. Try to get another good read, real quick. I accidentally shut my camera off. I apologize, but I'm still on the first screen. I'm going to try to get my second good read. Let's see if I can. 
I don't I don't think this is connected, yeah, it's not connected well. Alright, there it is. Verified. Verified. See that? And this is the Pogo reader. Worked. Thank you. Thank you so much, company, that sent me the uh, the replacement. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a shout out when I can. So, we are going to save. This is a uh, uh, Sonic. And we're going to hit one dot bin. Okay. And so I'm going to minimize this real quick. Mm. Plug up my Tango. Now if you guys uh, have watched any of my other videos, you'll see where I programmed keys into a uh, 2014 Malibu BCM. Basically same process as this. And I unlocked... Uh, flip keys. And I'm going to do that with this BCM. I'm going to program in an unlocked flip key. So we'll open up Tango. I'm going to put the key in. You guys will see. I'm going to discover key. And see it's unlocked. Alright. We're going to go up here. USA. We're going to go to Chevy. If it has Sonic, we'll go to Sonic. But we'll just go to Cruise. Because Cruise has the right device. We're going to load file. Uh, Sonic BCM or uh, there see it had two keys programmed to it we are gonna add key 3 which is currently in the programmer add that right now it does not recognize to the immobilizer if we hit this we get our pin code which I've already shown you and now we will write the key Sonic, and then we're gonna do one two, showing that it's been modified. Now it says that we need, we must rewrite the device in order for the key to be recognized. But real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and load the Sonic one two file to show you that it has key three in there and it is ready for key four. And if we hit the recognize button now. It shows that that key inside the programmer is three. We can go to identify what's in the programmer. And it is a locked key, meaning that it took the programming. And now, so that bin that we created, because we had to save it after we wrote in our our new key we have to go back to Prague and we are going to open it that second bin file that we created that Sonic 1 2 we're going to open it and I'm going to get my uh, Pogo adapter over the chip or the uh, the EEPROM device and I'm gonna hit oop, I felt something slide off okay right doesn't feel connected alright it wrote I'm gonna quickly verify And it's successful. And there we are. Out of the box.
programming in less than uh, 10 minutes. So now, oops. So now this key will not only start the car once we have the proper flip blade attached, but uh, it won't it won't only start the car once the BCM is put back in. The remote functions will work too. Remote functions program in with uh, this transponder. So uh, yeah, Sonic BCM programmed in a snap like that.